and me and my colleagues are still devastated about the outcome and we deeply regret that we were not able to secure the business. First he gave an apology and then he had to give some answers as the ex-chief executive of Thomas Cook and other senior figures of the collapsed company were questioned by MPs about why they'd been rewarded with big bonuses. Do you think that that bonus should be paid back? I worked tirelessly for the success of this company and I'm deeply sorry that I was not able to secure the deal. And there were 20 million happy customers. Mm -hmm. There were lots of new ways of travelling. You are here today in front of our committee because 9,000 people have lost their jobs. I think you're deluded, Mr. Maisman, about the business that you ran. So, then, what have you made so far of this? Watching closely in Paisley. May I, Got may it in I one. <laughs> in a cafe yards away from an old Thomas Cook shop front, former cabin crew Lisa and Michelle, who between them worked for the company for 36 years. To sit and watch that and realise that there's no, <laughs> they can apologise all they like. They're not sorry. I don't think they care. I don't think they have any remorse. They've not demonstrated any sort of guilt. They not took ownership. That demise meant holidays were cancelled and sparked an operation to bring 150,000 customers back to the UK. Some jobs were saved after another travel group bought Thomas Cook stores, but there's been no lifeline for air crew. I didn't expect at 44 years old for a minute I'd be sitting here in this situation like that overnight. Lisa and Michelle still haven't got the answers they wanted from former bosses, but aren't prepared to wait for them. There are more pressing issues for Thomas Cook Airlines staff grounded in the reality of unemployment. Alan Jenkins, 5 News, Paisley.